my brains are just blank. It's just <laughs> horrible. <laughs> All right. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic: building a luxury wardrobe. I'm sharing some advice on how I started. And lessons I've learned along the way. With all the things that is going on with the world right now, people have smaller budget to work with. But people still want to look good. I still want to look good. Ask my boyfriend how many parcels came to the house during the lockdown. I looked damn great during the lockdown. Disclaimer. You do not need to wear head-to-toe designers to be stylish. But if you're wanting to invest in a few things, keep on watching. Lesson number one. Start small. Then build it up when you have more budget to work with. Let me tell you a story. So this is 2010 and I was hired as an art director for this luxury advertising agency in Singapore. And I walk into the job, and oh my god, everyone look great. Designer dress, and a Louis Vuitton handbag, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm underdressed for the job. And so when I get my first pay, a colleague of mine took me to Balenciaga. I was like, oh my god, Aki, this bag will look so good on you. Have a look. This was half of my monthly pay. Oh my god, are you sure? Yeah, Aki, it will look amazing on you. So I got it. And that was a day three of my payday. So for the rest of the month, like 27 days, I had to eat noodles. It was not great. And then the next month, I'm going on my own. I purchased an earring, a few hundred bucks. I look great. I feel great. My wallet looked great. And everyone lived happily ever after. More of the story. Only spend as much as you can stomach. Lesson number two. The wish list. It will be your best friend. So, if you have shopping fever, actually that's not the right phrase to use these days, but if you have shopping cravings or you feel like shopping and you saw something that, ooh, it looks great, put it into your wish list first instead of just purchase. Because you, you know how some people, like, they don't remember why they do certain things they do when they were drunk. This is what impulsive shopping feels like for me. Oh, why do I get this? How much did I spend? Why? Ah. Uh. So sometimes we just love the idea or novelty of having new things instead of really wanting that exact thing. So don't rush. There's always something new. There's always something better. You can never keep up with the trend. So wish list. Now, let me show you how I look for bargain. Number one, understand that the same style item can cost different with different brands. For example, chain bracelet, Bottega Veneta. The chain bracelet is a big thing at the moment. It's a big trend, chain, chain, chain. Lovely, that's exactly what I wanted. Oversized chain bracelet. And then I know that Paco Rabane also do oversized chain bracelet and it's one of their signature accessories as well. So let me go to Paco Rabane. Ooh, my Teresa has them. And look at that. So I will leave that to you to decide. Is that the style or the brand that you want? Number two. Even the exact same item can cost different on different websites. Let me show you what I mean. So I've been wanting these beautiful Versace earrings. So I first found them on Forward. 
this is the pricing and so I did a Google search and I found out matches fashion have them too okay this is the pricing but before you check out do factor in shipping cost and import duty if you sh are shipping the items to New Zealand anything below a thousand is import duty free so for this instance this is import duty free let me work out the full pricing of this item on matches and on forward yep shows you that the same item can cost different on different websites interesting number three you don't always need the newest thing try pre-owned vintage or outlet let's say I knew I wanted a chain necklace I've been into this chain trend it doesn't need to be Bottega but I still want one from a high-end designer so I start looking for pre-owned items this is from Givenchy and I got it less than a thousand let me put a link into the descriptions on a few websites that I trust so yeah here are my tips so if you like this video please subscribe and uh, leave me a comment if you like and I'll see you next time Ciao